Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here today in Pennsylvania, Zone 6. And you know, today is May 18th, and you know, our frost date here in Pennsylvania, Zone 6, was May 15th. And so now it's time to plant those warm weather crops. Recently, I did a video where I visited uh, Ray's Nursery, uh, Ray's Greenhouse in Telford, PA, and I bought a, a bunch of my warm weather crops. I did a video explaining which ones and varieties I purchased, but today I wanted to share some tips and ideas with you on how you can plant red night sweet peppers in your vegetable garden. And this is what they look like. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. I like doing is experimenting with different type of vegetables and plants out in your garden so this year I bought different varieties of peppers and and even tomatoes and so you know behind every plant tag they do give you some helpful information it says here these red night peppers are early maturing peppers can be harvested when green or red and it matures in 66 days and it's best in fertile well-drained soil kept evenly moist and you know these peppers also like full sun and so as I share often share with subscribers anything that has a root or fruit you know you want a good six to eight hours of sunlight you know the more the better and your leafy greens you know they can get away with anywhere from like four to six hours of, of sunlight but anyhow I'm going to be growing these right behind me in my 18 foot by 30 foot raised garden bed that I had amended with my topsoil and I'm going to be planting these in my 6 mil polyethylene plastic because you know peppers and tomatoes you know they're, they're a plant that likes warm feet and also the black plastic you know it suppresses the weeds it holds in the soil moisture and it also you know warms the soil up earlier in the season and so for me it's a, just a great way to, to uh, plant my vegetables and also that black plastic lasts me anywhere from three to four years and so right behind me is where I'm going to be planting these so follow me along so I have here my six pack of peppers and you know it never hurts to pull out a one of your plants to check to make sure that the uh, they're not root bound you know that they haven't been growing too long in the market pack but anyhow I'm just simply going to use my hand because the soil is nice and loose I I went through and and loosened up my soil and I added my alfalfa pellets you know that way uh, it'll offer a nice slow release fertilizer throughout the season and so uh, right in front of me I'm going to be planting some basil and there on the right side I planted some of my classic eggplant and so I'm simply just going to move along here and just plant these this is a six by six inch opening that I cut in the plastic and then I have my irrigation system that I I used half inch PVC conduit and drilled 1 16th inch holes and so it works out really well And it's nice working on this plastic because it, you know, keeps you everything nice and clean. But I always recommend planting a lot of peppers in your garden. We just love our peppers and you can freeze them. And so let me grab my watering can. And we're going to water these in. And 
And so you want to make sure you keep these well watered during the growing season. But that's about as easy as it gets to, to grow your own vegetables, you know, your own peppers. And uh, like I said, I really encourage you to grow a lot of peppers because they're not that expensive to, to buy. And, you know, you could even start these by seed in, indoors. But uh, you get a great harvest from these. What we do is my wife and I, we just dice them up and put them in one gallon freezer, freezer bags. We use them in our beans and our chili throughout the year. And it's just a, a you know, just a great vegetable to plant. So anyway, I hope this video was able to give you some ideas on how to plant peppers in your garden. If you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.